Alright, so I'm here at a local pond. Uh, I wanted to finally do my review on the Helix pedal drive. So uh, I'm going to unload all this stuff, get it in the water, uh, set it up. I'll see you in a minute. Appreciate you watching. Alright everyone, so here we have the Helix pedal drive uh, from Wilderness Systems. I have it inside the Radar 135. Now, um, it's always a good idea to carry a paddle with you, uh, at, even though you have the pedal drive, because you do need about 18 inches of clearance uh, to engage the pedal drive. So you do need to paddle a little bit out if you are going off the bank uh, to make sure you have enough clearance for that pedal drive. This is what you see me doing here. And uh, to engage the pedal drive, you just uh, leave it in a stowed position. You pull it up as you see me doing right here, and it has two clips on the side. Um, they're adjustable, so you do it as tight or as how loose you want. Um, you see me here adjusting a little bit. And then you just lock them into place. You do the right side and the left side, as you see here. And you just engage the pedal drive. Now here you see me uh, at a cruising speed. And you see my left my left hand is on the uh, steering control. So you have a steering control that goes forward and back. Um, and you have a rudder uh, in the back. And your rudder uh, lift control system is on your right-hand side. So that's the way I installed it. You can do it either way. You can have the steering on the right-hand side if you choose to. Um, but I, I chose to do it on the left-hand side. So I have seen people do it on the right right side but I was reading somebody had some uh, issues with it um, but I'm not really aware of what it is so I don't want to speak on it too much but as you can see me right here I'm just cruising around this little lake uh, I wanted to give you an idea of the speed of the pedal drive now you do cruise at a pretty decent speed um, I was on a lake with another buddy of mine and it's a fairly large lake so I wanted to cut across the lake and he was paddling and I was pedaling and uh, I had to slow down because I didn't realize how fast I was going um, but like I said, you can cruise at a pretty decent speed, and what's great about it is you don't have, you don't exert as much energy as you do when you're paddling. Uh, I've I've gone out fishing when I was paddling, staying out to you know two or three, four in the afternoon, and I come home and I'm dead beat tired. So uh, with the pedals, I, I didn't find myself nearly as tired. Now, is it the best thing in the world? I'm not going to say that. There are some issues with it. Um, you do have to make sure with your clearance, you have to watch for undergrowth because it will get caught in the in the prop. So you do have to be aware of your surroundings when you're doing this. So, uh, But I'm going to go ahead and go live here in a second. I wanted you to hear the wind because you can hear the wind howling in the background. So I want to give you an idea of how windy it was and what I was doing. So I'll come back to you a little bit later after you watch the live video. Thanks. Hi guys, I'm out here at Little Pond. Um, did a little bit of fishing today and the wilderness system pedal drive. It's pretty windy out here. You can, you can probably more, more than likely you can hear all this wind that's coming out right now. And I'm cruising. There is a little squeak that comes from this pedal drive, but I'm sure once I grease it up, it should be fine. It seems like it's coming from the actual pedals itself. From this right here somewhere. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna grease it up, see what happens. But uh Yeah, I mean it works great. Like I said I'm cruising right here. You can see at the steering system. It turns on a dial, can you see that or not? Let me go straight here for a second. I'll go straight at that building. Alright. So I'm straight at that building. It's a little playground. I'm gonna start pedaling. I'm gonna turn. I'm already completely turned around. You can see the wake right there. It's going in one big circle. So it cuts on a dime. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. This is my 
third time picking it out. I wanted to give it a few tries before I actually give a review on it. Now, right here, see you hear that squeak? Let's see. I can't tell where it's coming from. But yeah, so if you start feeling like you're hitting bottom, you just gotta line it up, but it's a little bit off. You can see right there. You gotta put it about right there. Hit the release. See, I didn't even hit it that time. It's almost centered, but not centered. There we go. See, but it came out the side. this is holding up. I screwed it in once. I haven't retouched any screws. I want to see how well they held. Seems like they're holding okay. Now, people were complaining about a little bit of wobble whenever they're pedaling. So, but that's the wobble that everybody's talking about. It's real minimal. Let's see. It's real minimal whenever it's in. I don't I don't think it's that big of a deal. People will be talking about it, but yeah. So I usually keep my foot pedals all the way back. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's turn in guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing it up. But yeah, back to the pedal drive. So y'all can listen about the pedal drive, let's talk a little bit more about it. Um, it's not a speedboat by far, it's not, but if you can hear the wind, like I'm going directly into the wind, and I'm moving. Turn. Gonna head in. Alright guys, so I hope you liked the review on the Helix pedal drive. As I said earlier, there was a squeak that was coming from the actual pedals themselves. So what I did was on my next outing, I just like I just sprinkled some water on it, took the, the squeak right away. Um, it's, it's a temporary fix. I, mean, I might do that every time. I'm going to maybe figure out some long-term solution for that. But it wasn't that big of a deal, honestly. You can't hear in the video really loud. Um, but in, when I was there, I didn't hear it that loud, and it came out really loud through the video, but it could just be the situation. Um, here, what I'm doing is I'm showing you, uh, I sit a little bit forward in the seat uh, whenever I'm pedaling. It just makes, it feels for a more comfortable pedal. So I was sitting a little bit further from my seat. I didn't have my back all the way to the back of the seat. Um, so I was leaning forward just a little bit in the seat to make it more comfortable. That, that's what I was showing you right there. But um, I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to comment below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you do have. Also, please click that subscribe. Hopefully you like my videos. I'll be doing a lot more. So uh, once again, I do appreciate y'all watching. Um, hope you have a great day and tight lines. Appreciate you.